Welcome to Myths. I'm Matt Hoss. And I'm Dan Rhodes. Whether you know about Theseus or you're revising your syllabus. If you want tales with a bit of jest or you just want to hear about incest. What? What? It's really interesting. Welcome to Myths. Welcome to Myths. Welcome to episode 101. Woo! I, I didn't I was, know you guys were here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> why, why are you in our front room? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how was ever? Um, obviously, uh, people have been waiting a week to hear from what's happened in the second half, but you guys have been there. How was the interval? Okay. It was okay. <laughs> Do you know how polite all of an audience you are? Each, uh, most people go, oh yeah, well, I've got a 20 lagers, but you guys are like, I had a green tea and I feel quite good. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, it's quite, quite, you guys are, uh, yeah, most, most people on Friday night have a quite difficult audience, but thank you so much for coming. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, and uh, it's great to have you here. Uh, so, episode one on one, uh, it's exciting stuff, Dan. Triple figures. Triple figures. Triple figures. What? Yeah. Uh, imagine, uh, do you know how much money we spent on this podcast? Come on. No, we don't have a guess. Actually, why don't we have a guess? Give me a cheer if it's uh, more than five hundred pounds. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you you don't know the prices of like a uh, uh, mega bus travel. But, like, uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, we've actually spent. Let's not let's not go into it because I'm quite sad. Uh, but like, uh, uh, but yeah. So before we get started with uh, our next myth, we uh, did everyone enjoy uh, our first myth with Thor? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and obviously I'm quite a good uh, actor as well, but before, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wasn't a joke. Uh, um, you should have done the dress. Should have done the dress. Have done the trick. Well, sorry, we only have £500 to spend. <laughs> 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 so, uh, and you wouldn't see it on a podcast anyway. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Uh, no, just, you wouldn't see it on a podcast. You wouldn't, wouldn't see it on the podcast. Uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, for the 300 people in this room, that would have been worth it. But like, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but also, um, before we crack on, like, uh, give me a cheer if you've seen me live before. Yeah. More than I expected. Uh, can we check you on my tour show? Ooh. Rachel, thank you. Uh, <laughs> do you know what kind of comedy, uh, uh, comedian I am? I get to know my fans name by name as well. So uh, uh, all four of them. <laughs> Rachel, my mum, brother, and cats. So uh, um, yeah, but, but uh, yes, but like if you have, and Dan is also an actor. Uh, can we check you've seen him before? Yeah, by an actor, I mean he, he's an am drums. But like uh, uh, we say actor online just. In, Seem that incredible, but like uh, sounds, sounds cool, isn't it? Does it? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I want you guys probably wondering who is Matt Hoss, who is Dan Rhodes, and we're going to give you that opportunity right now. Uh, we're going to do a Q and A. We were planning to do it. Uh, to be honest, this is the part we're going to have the Viking expert on. So if you have any questions for a Viking expert, we can try and do it. Yeah, if you have any Viking uh, questions that you would have liked to give a Viking expert, just ask us. Well, and we we'll, don't know it. But we don't know the answer. <laughs> but we'll but give we it a try. try. But or if you want to ask a general question, feel free to do that. Any questions? How many nails in the bottom of your boots? What? How many, <laughs> how many nails in the bottom of your boots? Uh, it's a perfectly legitimate question, man. Uh, yeah. that, sorry, that, that was the most Yorkshire thing I've ever heard. <laughs> how many nails in the bottom boot? Uh, uh, um, uh, would you like to count, sir? What's your name, sorry? I said toe nails count. T- toe nails? Oh, yeah. I hate yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah. you all so much. But like, uh, <laughs> Toenails. Okay, uh, it's nice that after a lustrous career of stand up, I've been asked about uh, nails on my feet. So, okay, uh, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. Thank you. Uh, is that a Viking question or just a general question? Well, they did have nails in the bottom of the boots. Oh, did they? So they didn't wear around. So, what, sorry, what, I ha- what happened there is that I didn't understand uh, that was a reference to a historical fact which I was too ignorant of. So, uh, <laughs> my, uh, it's, 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 it's the mass killings thing all over again. I, I do apologise. Uh, I've, I've looked, looked at right to it this evening, haven't I, Dan? You do all the pod time. Uh, pod time? All the pod time. All the pod time. <laughs> Not normal time, but pod time. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, any other questions? Which what, what did Thor do with his hammer? What's that all about then? What didn't he do with his hammer? Is there some kind of flying going on here? Like, uh, that sounds like an innuendo. Thor does a lot with his hammer. Yeah, so uh, we're talking about Mjolnir, the, the use of Mjolnir. 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 Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's, uh, if you listen to episode 95 or 92, uh, 
uh, listen to it right now. Just put, put your head to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, he uh, basically was crafted in a, a in a fire. Loki uh, got like some builders to do it, but it has a short handle, and basically it can knock out everything as well. Very very powerful. Flies, knocks people out. Does a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was built by the dwarves. Loki bit. Well, he bites. He's making a hammer so he can be held with two hands, and he becomes a fly. And he's mischievous, and he transforms into a fly, and he bites the dwarf that's making it on, it on his hand, and the guy drops it, doesn't he? Yeah. And then it makes the hammer just one-handled, so any, someone really strong can hold it, because so they, they have to have it in one hand. And then Thor's like, great, I'll have it then. Right. And it's super powerful, which probably helps. Was that, was that what you... Is that what... Is that... Is that is, 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 yeah, it, it was interesting. But I, I just... What's it, it's... it's not your average sort of weapon, is it really? You know, it's not a sword, it's not a knife. Now, it's... here's a good question. It's a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not, isn't it really? Uh, if you're going to murder someone, what's your name, sorry? George. George, if you're going to murder someone, George, which weapon would you use? Uh, uh, I'd probably poison them. Poison? Oh, good God. Very <laughs> 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 heckling other people. Boom, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a cyanide kind of girl, yeah. <laughs> That would have been hilarious if she didn't pause. Yeah. Like, oh god, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I make the drinks in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see why you're not married. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for that. Uh, well, uh, now everyone's kind of on edge with their drinks now, aren't they? Uh, should we do one final question, maybe about our illustrious careers? Uh, yeah. I feel like. How long have you been Matt Psychic? How, how long have we been Psychic? How long have we been Matt Psychic? Matt Psychic. Oh, Matt Psychic. Um, Matt Psychic. Well, how long have yeah. I been? Well, we've been doing this podcast. How long have we been doing this podcast well, now? We started this podcast five years ago, but to answer your question correctly, I took over the reins quite fast because I'm a natural leader, I would say. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, so, Alpha. Yeah. What was that, sorry? Alpha. Alpha. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, thank you. That always just back me up. I am the Alpha in the room. Uh, 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 the raw Viking in me. Who are well, I hope not that. <laughs> oh my god, yes, please have a moment. Wait, 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 oh my god, yes. <laughs> We will do it. We will do a go on that. Should be fair. That that we won't do it on everything else. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Hold on. We should vote on that side. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. We will do a vote, and uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna walk out if you don't vote the right way. But like, uh, also, I like it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like it in the last episode, Paul's like, oh no, I'm too shy to kind of talk, but now he's like, let's have a fucking vote! <laughs> a call to arms! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to close my eyes. Uh, are okay. we doing ha- our hands, are we? No, oh, actually, I, I want to see you fucking, uh, I want to see you Judas is from here. Okay, this, ready? Okay. Cheer if you think Matt's the alpha male. Exclusively women. <laughs> okay, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I feel good about this. That was at least 101 uh, people. Yeah. Um, Do you think I'm the alpha male? Yeah! Paul does, and that counts. Uh, I know you're my psychic, so. Uh, uh, but sorry, Dan, that wasn't the question. Like, is either Matt's the alpha male or he's not the alpha male? You threw yourself in that mix, and I think. That I wanted Paul to cheer for me, and he did. It's Paul. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're welcome to do a podcast with him, uh, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm say, quite reliable. So, uh, no, give me a cheer if you think uh, I'm not the alpha male. Yeah. Yes, I am! Yeah. People think you're the alpha male! Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, I feel so masculine now. Thanks, guys. I'm going to now uh, drink uh, a... T- I think you've got a touch of Loki going on there, haven't you? Because that was a bit duplicitous, wasn't it, that? A touch of what? Sorry, that, was a big, that was a big word. I can say, <laughs> can you, uh, not for me, but for the idiot podcast listeners. Because like, they're like... Yeah, yeah. Could, you, could, could you explain what you just said so I could uh, rephrase it? <laughs> That talks bollocks, lad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a smart... <laughs> yeah, uh, that was like a smartness translator, wasn't it? Like, a, uh, the duplicitous nature of this. Oh, it's fucking bollocks! <laughs> That's great. Um, uh, okay, I think we should just crack on. Cause, uh, Let's crack on, yeah. Because I realised, to be honest, I thought it'd be quite nice for you guys to ask us like, niche questions, but you guys are we're not interested in your lives. Uh, <laughs> Can I ask you, um, what's each of your favourite myths? Oh, that's a good one. Each of our favourite myths. Uh, um, uh, so, uh, okay. Um, well, you know, I think our first one, Thesis and Minotaur. Is that's a good one. Anyone yes. familiar with Thesis and the Minotaur? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Go on and listen to it now. 
Yeah, episode one. Yeah, yeah. No, we do recommend you listen to all the podcasts before that come to see the live ones as well. But like, a uh, uh, bit, bit late. But like, yeah. Uh, no, but like, uh, yeah. Uh, also, like, uh, genuinely though, like a lot of people have been really nice in the interval saying that they do want to go and check out the other ones. So yeah, that's really, like, really sweet. So please, please do check them out. They're really, really worthwhile. And uh, there are a hundred of them. So uh, uh, get, get cracking. Uh, some some people say too long, but so I say. I've got five hundred pounds to spend. Let's go. Uh, what is your favorite myth, though? Favorite myth. Ooh. Uh, you know what? I like uh, my favorite myth. Before we did it, was uh, the Odyssey. I'm a big fan of the Odyssey. Uh, I love it. This, oh, it's a controversial. Ooh, I'm an Iliad gal. Uh, but like, uh, but, uh, yeah, I love the Odyssey. But when we did it. It took us about ten episodes, and it was really fucking dry. Yeah, it turns out it's really long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how are you, Dan? What's your favorite? What's myth? my favorite myth? I quite liked uh, Juno and her rivals. Oh, tell me that's that. a bit of a niche one. That's when, um, when? Zeus doing what he does best, um, cheating on his wife. And um, yeah, uh, anyone cheating on the wife? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and he, he basically is caught. Uh, his wife uh, is actually in in uh, in Greek. His wife is called Hera. In um, the Roman mythology, she's called Juno. It's the same myth. Um, he's caught um, basically having sex with her. And then he panics and turns her into a cow. And then his wife is like, hey, Zeus, what you doing? And he's like, oh, I was just here with this cow. And then she's like, it looks like you were with a woman. Yeah, it looks like you were with a woman earlier. He's like, nah, no, just chilling, just here with this cow, taking this cow for a walk. And she was like, something's, hmm, I don't think that's a thing. Hmm, no. And then it turns out it wasn't a thing. Yeah. He just, and then, but basically, um, our fear of transforming her back into a, into a she's, she's a nymph for a human? Uh, a nymph. And in, in, in film, yeah, her name's Io. In, in fear of turning her back so that people, f- uh, so his wife finds out, he just uh, keeps her as a cow. <laughs> and she has a pretty horrendous life. It's, it's nice that. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then she. <laughs> I love that because, like. That's your favourite. Uh, <laughs> no, there's a lot of weird stuff that happens in it. Like, his wife finds out and she sets like a plague of flies on her and she. She runs through Greece and she ends up going into the sea, the Ionian Sea. That's why it's called um, the Ionian Sea. I, I, what I also love is the fact that, um, you know, like uh, when we usually finish myth, we go, oh, that's hilarious. But you guys are like, that's awful, that's horrendous. Why are you laughing at that? Yeah, I feel weird for bringing it up now. Yeah. But um, yeah, well, thank you all for your uh, glamorous questions. So we're going to crack on with uh, our second myth. Woo! <laughs> What's this one called, Matt? Uh, it's called Idun and her golden apples. Is it Idun for Idun or Idun? I D U N. Idun. 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 Idun sounds like a. <laughs> it, sounds like, like, mm-hmm. it, it sounds like that. You, you keep uh, your mouse click on the wrong thing. Like Idun. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, guys. It wasn't bad. Like, right? uh, it's not bad. <laughs> uh, and I've said some dreadful things tonight. So, so uh, okay. Uh, so we're going to talk about golden apples, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Yeah. You can go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three of the Izzyr gods, Odin, Loki, and Hoenir, or is it Hynir? Hynir, yeah. Hynir. He has never come up. No. And it's spelled H-O-E-N-E-R, so it's uh, um, Hynir. And, uh, Odin, Loki, and Hynir were on a journey to see uh, what was going on in Midgard, the land of the men. A journey that took them through desolate mountains far from Asgard. Food was scarce in this uninviting region, so when the, when the travellers came upon a herd of oxen, black-eared oxen, uh, uh, they slaughtered one for their dinner. Um, soon they had the meat cooking over the fire, but there was a problem. The fire was hot, the meat was there, but for some reason it would not cook. They, as their dinner, Remain not raw. Does that make sense? They try. Try as they may, their dinner remain oh, raw. Oh, you missed that word there. So, try as they may, their dinner remain raw. I thought it was some kind of allegory there. <laughs> try as they may, their dinner remain raw. That would piss me off if I was trying to cook something and it just wasn't. I mean, obviously, that would piss me off. That's the whole point of cooking something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, are, you, are you a good cook, Dan? Not really. Well. No, I'm uh, not. Have you ever eaten something raw by accident? Well, yeah. 
Well, stay. Well, I, by accident, yeah, I gave myself food poisoning when I was 14 uh, because I honestly, God, thought that I didn't know you had to cook chicken properly. And my mum came in and was like, oh, God, you didn't eat all that, did you? And I was like, well, obviously, yeah, it was delicious. Uh, I and she was like, oh, no, here we go. Got a trip to the hospital plan. Um, no, just a horrendous 12 hours. Uh, and Dan, what's, uh, what's, what's, what's your mum's call? Chris. Cool. Uh, in an earlier podcast, Dan forgot his mum's name. So, um, that did happen. I did once forget my mum's name in a yeah, podcast. Yeah. yeah. She was not happy. And she's uh, one of our many fans, uh, one of our 300 fans. Uh, 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 in the light of fire, they saw a shadow of a huge bird. I don't know why I <laughs> Sorry, guys. Does anyone know what a bird is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to us, I've asked worse questions than that. Uh, uh, my favourite is, anyone cheating on their wife? <laughs> um, they saw a shadow of a huge bird, Kakar. Uh, they looked up and saw an eagle, uh, Brian the eagle, uh, perched on a branch, silhouetted against the night sky. That's no eagle, said Odin. <laughs> one, oh. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> Can we have the talented one do some place? Uh, and then the bird laughed. Oh, what voice am I doing for? What's the what voice am I doing for the bird? <laughs> <laughs> it's an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might be in it wrong. <laughs> I'm an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny. You can do that. California. 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 California eagle. Oh, nice. Uh, the eagles. Hey, nice. Hey, man. You want some hemp? Yeah. Hey. No. Why, sorry, why does he get all the sexy ones? I get pirate, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> okay. The bird laughed. <laughs> no. I'm not eagle. <laughs> I tell people you, laughing California. Are you laughing McConaughey? <laughs> hey, I'm just a Californian. I'm laughing. No, I'm no eagle, and your meat will not cook unless you eat unless you agree to give me whatever I want. The gods would. <laughs> I gave it a go. <laughs> To us, I'd like my Odin a bit better, but whatever. Uh, the gods were tired, cold and hungry, so they agreed without inquiring as to the demands of the strange creature. So already this is weird. But like, in, in Norse things, always things happen where like, someone's just like, Haha, I've got you now, now uh, you're going to obey to my every whim. And it's like, well, I'll, I'll probably just end up killing you, so like, <laughs> I, let's just do this. Uh, this this is weird that a bird has gone, no, not kicking that meat, huh? You know, uh... It's me, I'm casting a spell. And they're like, ah, fine, fuck it, here we go. Because, like, in other, in other myths, they're kind of in, like, they're very fastidious with the details. Yeah. They have, like, they're, 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 like, the kings of contractual law, if you know what I mean. They're, they're, they're kings of uh, uh, loopholes. But here, like, yeah, fuck it, we'll just do whatever you want for They're it. so hungry, they're like, I don't even care what this is going to be, but let's just do it. Yeah, I'll give my soul for a pepperoni. <laughs> uh, uh, and so immediately, uh, <laughs> I was happy to leave it under the table. Uh, 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 yeah, okay, it was a bit weird, guys. But like, I had to work on the fly. You know what I mean? Got like heel. Um, but like, um, uh, at once the meat began to sizzle. But just as they were about to help themselves, the eagle swooped in and took it from himself. The choicest portions of the ox. Loki thought this was. Uh, beyond the terms of their bargain, and in anger, took up a sturdy branch and lunged at the eagle. The eagle, nice sound effects there, back. The eagle snatched the branch in his talons, and with a bewildered Loki still clinging to the other end, flew up high into the sky. Then swooped down once again, flying low, so that Loki was dragged behind and terribly bashed and bounced about by rocks and branches. And then at last, the eagle put him down. That's a tough couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah. Also, I like how, like, uh, Norse gods are, like, uh, especially the ice guardians are, like, these prim, proper, like, golden gods. Like, haha, we can, no one can stop us. And the bird's like, I'll fucking look, uh, look up and down, mate. Yeah, <laughs> knock him out, mate. Yeah. Also, he's a god, and the first he's going is a branch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, you want a piece of me? It's, it's, uh, <laughs> they're quite partridge esque, kind of, oh, not partridge, I mean, like, uh, David Brent esque, uh, kind of poking it with a, uh, a branch. So the eagle's taken it and gone, alright, and then just flown around, and, uh, yeah, like he's had a horrendous. Uh, and then, and then he put so he put him down. Uh, there's a giant called uh, Thiazi. 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 Do you want to give the giant voice of that? Okay. I am the giant Thiazi. He says. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? What was that meant to be? This is Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was like a <laughs> Oh, that's not that tension. No, 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 no. Everyone's like, why is he doing a German accent? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, a, it's just, I'm not racist. Uh, uh, not, it was, uh, it, it was Swedish, right? Uh, let's, let's just do something neutral, because I don't want to be accused. Right, any neutral accents, uh, any, I can, uh, I, I'll do, I'll, um. Well, he's a giant, do, do. 
Oh, what is it? Uh, mask one again. Uh, I'll, as the alpha male, I'll, I'll take this. I am the giant Theorzy, he says. And you're not the only one who can change shape. You will never be free unless you agree to get me Idun's... Idun? Idun's golden apples. Do you accept? Loki hesitated. Falazi wasn't really asking for apples. He was asking for what Asgard prizes above all, eternal youth and beauty. What would his punishment be if he stole that? But he was tired of being bruised and tracked about, so he just agreed. I like it. <laughs> it was quite nice that they had this civilised discussion, but also it's mid-flight apparently. Like, come on, I'll give you whatever you want. Uh, um, Dan. So, so what are the apples, basically? Yeah, uh, uh, and we'll get... Because I uh, in in this, what happens is that I, I love a bit of knowledge. I uh, what would happen is I would go and explain something, give some exposition, but then what would happen in the next paragraph? It would explain it. So Dan, I'm going to ask you: Does it explain what the apples are? No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, so uh, uh, so uh, I believe these golden apples. These are the things that kept the gods young. So every every um, uh, 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 if you if a god was feeling a bit older, they'll have a golden apple and become really young again. And that's how the uh, gods of Artacard they keep their youth and beauty and yeah. yeah. And that's what the uh, theology wants. The theology wants to be young for eternity and hoard of the golden apples. Uh, um, and I swear to God, if it comes up in the next paragraph, I'm going to knock you out. So, <laughs> uh, by knock you out, I mean be annoyed. Uh, Fialzis flew off, screeching, Keep your word or you have to deal with me! Um, that was a different dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> a different person came in. I am from Sweden, keep your word. Uh, uh, <laughs> not racist. <laughs> it's a bore out there. <laughs> keep your word and you'll have me to deal with. <laughs> and Loki, who didn't want that, brushed himself down and thoughtfully. Then he rejoined the others, who were already tucking into their stake, and Bagandi himself. So he's just brushing this off like this hadn't happened. And also the other two were like, yeah, uh, the third of our party's just been picked by a bird. Not gonna they're like, so hungry, they're like, oh, look at what you've He's just like, dishevelled. <laughs> yeah, he got like, <laughs> just in his hair. Like, Don't worry about it, it's cool. <laughs> this expedition to Midgard had not been very successful, and soon the, the, the gods returned to Asgard. Loki did intend to keep his word, and he began by making friends with Idun, keeper of the golden apples. One day he said, Oh God, you like it again. <laughs> you know, Idun, these are wonderful apples, but they're second best. <laughs> I've seen well better. <laughs> oh, you still like that, do you? Like, uh, oh, continuity, it's uh, continuity. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, um, also, uh, I had another joke about Idun, which I don't think anyone's going to appreciate, but uh, uh, do you reckon she has her own like, uh, uh, yogurt business? Do you reckon she goes, Mmm, Idun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One try. Yep, I like this out of the podcast. Uh, 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 I don't believe you, she said. You don't believe me? Come and see for yourself. I think I will, said Eden. He explained how he had found um, he had found fruits even more marvelous than her own, growing in a forest beyond the walls of Asgard. Now she should follow him there and bring her own apples for comparison. Cheeky. That's. He's like, you know, I found these well better. I'm going to do the voice. I found these well better apples, but to compare, you should probably bring your own. And she's like, all right. Uh, I have the best apples, so. Why is everyone in this myth just being like, fine, let's go? Everyone's very, very like, accepting of this. This is like a normal day for normal. You're an eagle that has spells, great, good, let's go. <laughs> yeah. You're giant apples, cool, let's go. I like because everyone's just so bored. Like, yeah, okay, you're trying to, like, you're trying to steal my hammer, whatever. Let's just go. <laughs> let's, I'm going to murder you in two parent pages anyway, so let's just do it. Uh, <laughs> for QNL, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he explained how um, how had found he had found he explained <laughs> what, 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 what's that line? Why are you? I just did that line. Oh okay, sorry. What? No, you didn't. What? This one? Yeah. Did I just? Oh yeah, sorry, you did. Yeah, uh, my bad. Uh, uh, Loki and Idun made for the gates of Asgard. Loki looked up. He saw a huge shadow in the sky. He knew what that meant. All of a sudden, Idun shivered. I'm not sure if I want to go, she said. I'll come another day. A walk outside will do you good. Love. I want to stick a love on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like that. that. It's not like that. Uh, can you try and like, trap me up as well? Because I feel like uh, I think Loki would try and chat. Once uh, Loki had sex with a horse, so I feel. Oh like yeah, that's that. another myth for another time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he found some. Well, as you know, just just as I know, he has he goes into the forest with a horse, comes out like a kick quite a bit later, it, like, and everyone and everyone's like, "Hey, what what are you guys doing?" And he's like. Horse having sex with a horse! <laughs> and he's and like, like he's here are my horse, horse children! <laughs> like, yeah, they're horse children, and they're like, we know what you were doing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And there's even an eight legged horse called Satnir, which belongs to Odin as well. Um, 
Not funny, but factual. So, <laughs> uh, so you don't need a bacon expert. Uh, uh, so, so I, Idan doesn't want to go. She's like, this right, doesn't... So I'll, right. I'll be Idan, but can you be Loki and be in Essex and try and chat me up for your apples? Oh, yes, this might be really creepy. Uh, I'm Idan. Mm. Uh, check out my apples. Mm. <laughs> That's actually. <sexy. laughs> I realise I this lady who just put it like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, essentially, this, this. Yeah, anyway. Um, so try and chat me up. Be slimy. <laughs> just, just using the words I've got in front of me? Whatever you want. Look, I know I said. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Look. We're, I'm we're gonna Mr. Mr. Single. Aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know I said there's no. Um... I know we're going to compare some fruits in the woods, uh, but actually, and I know that seemed weird at the time, and thanks so much for coming, um, but you know, I just thought it'd be nice to have a walk outside, the, you know, some fresh air, ignore this massive shadowy figure in the distance, yeah. <laughs> absolutely nothing to do with the reason I've come out here with you. Yeah, it does sound a bit creepy when you say that, yeah, uh, but I'm enthralled, uh, but yeah, uh, as long as you don't poison me, that's fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was quite an easy laugh there, wasn't it? It was like, aha, I was trying to do it tonight, but. Um, I brought it with me. <laughs> you have some. <laughs> I have a brought it with me. My, my, my home stash is there. Um, but yeah, um, so I did. can you give it like, you know, like, uh, like uh, my mum is quite a northern mum, and like, yeah, I remember like uh, uh, back in the day, like, uh, we have to give her like free calls, like, make sure we're okay if we go somewhere. I used to go down to my friend Charlie's house, who lived literally like three houses away, and she's like, oh, give me a free, free rings, but don't pick it up, because like, if you pick it up, yeah. it costs money, right? Yeah. I feel like, um, um, I feel like, uh, what's your name, sorry? I'm Frank. You're Frank. I thought you said Anne Frank there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 Frank, I was going to say, you, I mean, the US has been rough on you, mate, but like, uh, no, but uh, Frank, uh, when you're home, can you give, give us free rings if that's so? Like, I want to make sure you're okay. Yeah, I was going to say, please. And it says, like, in all caps, I'm fine, don't look into this, we know uh, what's happened. Uh, uh, this is not Frank. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so anyway, so. Uh, A walk outside will do you good. Love. <laughs> Love. So, so, <laughs> sorry, I forgot that. And he took her by the arm, and then they went through the gate. Idun screamed. The eagle, Thiazi, swooped down to, for his prize. Idun and her apples. Uh, the, giants, uh, took, uh, the giant took her to his abode, a place called Th- Th- Thrymheim, which means... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, uh, well, it means thunder home. Th- oh, how do you know that, Dan? Uh, it's in brackets. Uh, it's in the <laughs> uh, Thrymheim. Um, uh, and... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Thrymheim, which was situated in the highest mountain peaks, whose icy towers growled down at the fertile fields below. She was fated to be held prisoner there, in Fialzi's cold and gloomy castle. Boo! 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 Yeah, yeah. Boo that. Boo. yeah it's, Don't hold people in castles under their will. I just want to make that really clear. If, yeah, it's a talking point tonight. Like, uh, <laughs> PSA, don't do that, please. Uh, uh, can we make, uh, let's make this full pantomime, because we had some boos. Can we have like a boo? <laughs> we'll boo every time. For the, I want him to, to boo every time that guy comes back. Yeah. For that, for lousy. For and, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, but yeah, if, if, if they at some point end up behind us, you know what to do. So, uh, um, <laughs> In Idun's absence, the gods and goddesses felt old age creeping up on them. Their skin became wrinkled, their hair greyed, and their vigour waned. Panicked, they held an assembly to the, of the gods. The number one suspect in the case of Idun and the missing apples was Loki. The suspicion always fell on him, and there, for when he was around, there was always mischief afoot. Um, it was an uproarious... Uh, what are you going to say? I just... How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you feel good? You a just like a mid, mid-paragraph to chat. Yeah, yeah, it's real, really hot in here, isn't it? Is it hot in here? Yeah. Not hot 300, 300 people here, so... Yeah, 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 300 people in a 25 your room. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the meeting was an uproarious uh, meeting. That didn't make any sense. Uproarious. The evening was an uproarious meeting. They seized Loki and threatened him... Uh, with all manner of pains, if he didn't tell them what had happened to the fair goddess. So they just know it's Loki, basically. But They're I, like, let's all hold a meeting to decide who did this. Oh, Loki, hey, how you doing, buddy? And he's like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have come to this meeting. Uh, yeah, and, but also, I like how they instantly just knew as well. Like, so, oh, it's obviously that prick over there as well. And then, I like how Loki's kind of like, uh, yeah, I just don't know. Like, I, I don't know where the woman got to go. I haven't mean, just swapped her for some apples. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, then Thor, the strongest of the gods... And I may say, uh, very well uh, portrayed in the last episode, uh, uh, seized hold of Loki and shook him terribly so that he was in fear for his life. 
Stop, stop! cried Loki. I'll get the apples back if you kill me. I forgot what I was meant to be doing. I'll get the apples back. If you kill me, you will never eat those apples again, and you can all suffer the aches and pains in old age. Right, that accent looks good, but can you do it in the Rastafarian accent, please? Absolutely. <laughs> it just sounds Swedish when I do it. <laughs> um, uh, the, so, um, uh, he says he's going to get the apples back. The gods informed him that if he couldn't re- uh, rescue uh, Idun from Fiancé, he would be put to death. I, I mean... I'd probably be getting the apples back. Yeah, I mean, like a fair, fair trade off. What are you going to do if I don't get these apples back? We're going to kill you. All right, guess I'm going to... Uh... But uh, Loki's escaped death before, though, because in the uh, episode with Mjolnir's hammer, like, uh, uh, it, it, the part of the deal was that the Balder and uh, uh, his brother said that if, if they create a, ham- um, a hammer so good that uh, they'll get to like, uh, cut off uh, Loki's head, but like he got away with it, so like, I think he's pretty immune to these things. Yeah, at this point. He, yeah. He, like, this ha- uh, he gets like, murdered, like, death threats on like a tri-daily basis at this point, isn't it? Freya lent him her hawk feathers again, from, again from last episode. Oh, she sure. had all these hawk feathers lying around. With which one can shift his or her shape into that of a hawk, poor fucker. And, and, he flew, and he did this and flew off to Jotunheim, the homeland of the giants. Within which Thrymheim was located. The castle was located, I can't say it. Thrymheim. Thank you. When he came to the castle, he found to his great delight that Thiauzi had gone out to sea to fish, leaving Idun home alone. Without losing a minute, Loki turned the goddess into a nut and sped away with her in his talents. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the episode. <laughs> Alright, that's, uh, that's a lot to digest. And that's yeah. the episode, so... <laughs> 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 what a cliffhanger. Like, yeah, whoa. Um, uh, yeah, so it's like, I, I find that... Um, she's all the way there. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, this is going to be so stressful when I get there. This guy, how am I going to get her out? Oh my god, yeah. I'm going to have to break in. I'm going to have to somehow rescue her. And, oh, she's free, walking around. Alright, that was easy. <laughs> and I like that, it's like a... Fiance, like, haha! My my master plan has worked. I've uh, I made the uh, made a deal with the gods. I got the girl, and now I'm just gonna leave my back for half an hour. And, uh, like, uh, just like, yeah, uh, pretty cool about it. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, of all the things to turn her into, do you think he's a nut? Do you think he's just panicked? Yeah, yeah. He's so shocked that she's there. He's like, yeah, nut. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what? What's this is a weird thing? Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Uh, uh, what not jerky would be? Because I'm gonna say I'm gonna say almond. Yeah, it has to be something he can like. Yeah. Hold a walnut, something he can hold in his talons. Talons, yeah. Any suggestions? It, okay, here's a better question. If you're gonna be turned into a nut, what nut would you turn into? Brazil. <laughs> Bra- Bra- Brazil nut. Not technically a nut, actually. So it's a oh. seed. Controversy here in this. I'm so sorry. Is that, uh, uh, what, what's your name, sir? Andy. Andy, nice to meet. Andy, like you said, that was such love in your heart, and you were like the first time you wanted to chat all night. And uh, God bless, I shot you down so fast. I'm really sorry, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wish to be a Brazil nut. Bullshit, Andy. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm an elf male. Listen to me. Uh, no, I did. No, it's not seed, Andy. God damn it. <laughs> what is that, Jesus. <laughs> I'm a bike expert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, Ask a serious question to a bunch of serious people. <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, say Brazil nut. Yeah. Hey, you know what? We'll set seed as well. Uh, do you want to be Brazil nut? Not anymore. Well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, Andy, I'll make it up to you. In the interval, we'll find. Well, uh, after, after this, we'll, uh, we'll find you a. Uh, 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 a bag of seed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll just throw it. You're a distraction! <laughs> um, any other suggestions? <laughs> no, it's a surprise. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, actually, Mike, we don't want to admit offer a position because uh, you guys shout us when you're uh, we're incorrect. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I deserve a uh, rewind the show there, uh, rewind the show. Uh, um, sorry. Dan, what, what note would you be? I think I'll think of walnut. Walnut. Yeah. What? Oh, I don't know. How's the cucumber twins doing? You okay? Have you got any nuts in there? Okay. Is it Brazil? Yeah, if there's a Brazil. Why are you asking my wife? It's not so, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Are you geez. suggesting they might be yours? Are you... No! no. Well, they're, they're, statistically speaking, they're probably seeds, but... <laughs> 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 Stop! Stop! Would you like to do the rest? Uh, I would like to do the rest, because uh, I feel I've, been, I've just been uh, accused of an allegation, I can't remember. Not uh, accused. Not accused, yeah. Uh, uh, good, good work, everyone. Uh, <laughs> we can nearly go home now. So. <laughs> Uh, 101 episodes and we're here. So, uh, uh, here we go. Uh, so, we just turned into a nut. Uh, it was lucky that he had a good start, for soon Fiazi came home. 
how he roared when he saw that Idum and her apples were gone. Be, be, be like, be a bit outraged. God, this is so annoying! <laughs> I'm allergic to nuts! I left it for two minutes! Oh, I just went to the toilet, come on! Alright, uh, uh, so he's outraged. Oh, um, uh, he guessed what had had, he guessed what had happened, uh, changed at once into an eagle and flew off, uh, spurred on by anger and fury. There is no way he would be able to guess accurate exactly what happened. There is no way he would get back and go, she's a goddamn nut. <laughs> She's changed into a goddamn nut. An eagle has taken her. What's that smell? Macadamia. Yeah. I know exactly what's happened here. Oh, he doesn't. And another one glue. Has someone been to Brazil? Um. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. <laughs> um, so yeah, he knew. He knew what had happened. Bam. Uh, uh, near. Um, oh, sorry, that's the wrong paragraph. Uh, Loki flew as quickly as he could, as falcons fly very fast. How fast do a peregrine falcon fly? Yeah. Is it, can we, let, let's just get it again. How fast do a peregrine falcon fly? 240 miles per hour. Give that man a round of applause! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hate to be pedantic, but like, uh, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's 241. 241 actually, yeah. so uh, this table over here, Dunce Corner. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, the thing is, I'm trying to make you guys be my friend, but then I, I'm also like being a horrible dickhead. I really apologize. Uh, um, we'll, we'll, we'll hang out afterwards um, uh, and talk about nuts and speeds. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Falcon flew very fast, but it is the eagle that rules the sky, and little by little, Thiazi gained upon Loki. Ooh. Ooh. Boo. 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 Boo! What would you say to Loki if you saw that he was behind him? Okay. He's behind Sorry, did you put my nuts in my wife's drink? <laughs> Not funny? I thought that'd be a funny callback, but you guys were like, that's disgusting. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll move on forever. Uh, so, uh, um, everyone in Asgard was watching, fearfully. Would Loki get back in time? Uh, when they saw, uh, uh, caught, when they caught sight of the chase, they built a pile of kindling around their fortress. Near fainting with exhaustion, Loki uh, flew over the wall and fell to the ground, exhausted. Uh, then the, uh, the god suddenly lit the fire and it exploded so rapidly that the Arzi didn't have time to turn around before entering the flames. And he was killed. Um, <laughs> that's quite, it's quite inventive actually. Uh, go on. So they just like put, they put like wood around the walls and then just as Loki's got in they then set fire to it and he's just in a split second been exploded. I see like it's not the most effective thing because like fa- famously you can fly over fire, right? Yeah, that is a thing that can happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Be gone, foul demon! Like, oh, gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah. Wow, well, that's it, man. Like, uh, <laughs> and now we're being eaten alive. <laughs> um, and finally, uh, Idun and her golden apples were finally safely, so, were safely back home. Youth and beauty will return to Asgard forevermore. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys sounded really not that pleased that it was over as well. But like, uh, uh, so we're going to go and rank it now, but uh, let's have a massive cheer for that myth. Yeah. So Dan, uh, would you ever... Um, would you, uh, about mortality, would you ever eat an apple to... If you were an old, would you eat apples for young? It'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, not bad. probably would, would you? Uh, nah. <laughs> uh, Don't like apples, mate. Yep. Uh, is that, that's the one thing. Um, Dan doesn't like bananas, and I've got a banana here. Would, would anyone like me to eat it in front of him just to bring You basically out? did at the start of last episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was off mic. So, uh, there we go. Whoa, it's got a little bit brown now. Whoa. Oh, that's not funny. Uh, uh, to be honest, I'm very tired. I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, uh, so, we rank this in four sections, as we know. We rank it on. That. No. Life skills. Life skills. Life skills. Morals, Great. 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 and what, what the fuck? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I like it. Someone just said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like, as if not <laughs> doing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we rank each out of ten, uh, and uh, let's go for life skills as well. Feel free to shout out if you have any suggestions. So life skills are the practical things we've learned. The practical right. things we learned. Practical things. Uh, we learned how to turn into a nut. Into a nut. We learned how to fly very fast. Very fast. Set fires. Set fires. Apples are good. Apples are good. Apples, Apples are good. Yay! 
A life skill, yes. As yeah, uh, yeah. Famously said. <laughs> <laughs> Not to eat raw chicken like Dan. Not yeah. to eat raw chicken. Thank you. <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, uh, have you put that life skill into practice? I have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I've ever eaten chicken. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Hmm, any of it. Um, I guess don't sell out your friends very fast because I, yeah. I guess that's more, that's more relevant to, for the fact that Loki was like. Uh, well, it's a, it's a life skill to how to sell out your friends really quick. Yes, yeah, yeah. and also how to negotiate because uh, they made discussions whilst uh, in mid mid flight as well, which is quite handy. Well, the negotiations seem to be. Look, will you do this for me? And he just went, yeah. Sorry, it's like, sorry, it's, it's, it's not, not negotiation. It's, it's really blackmail. Yeah, yeah, it's not really a negotiation. Uh, it's not high. I'm not high. I'm going to say four. Does everyone agree with four? Yeah. yeah. Do, we, do we think higher? No. Lower? <laughs> Holy shit, you guys are a harsh audience. Like, uh, 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 so, should we three? Yeah. 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 I do think it's a three, actually. Okay, three. Yeah. three. That's fair. It's yeah. a three. All right, morals. We already talked about a couple, but I think some nice morals in here. We've learned... Uh, uh, be- yeah, oh, I was going to say, don't sell your friends. Don't sell your friends. Don't get old. Uh, don't knock people up in a castle. Yes. For the yeah. last time, Matt. Uh, sorry, uh, I've got eight castles. Uh, um, uh, yeah, don't. Um, uh, I, I suppose uh, if you've done something wrong, uh, you have to sort it out yourself. Be responsible because the gods made Loki do it. Even though, again, you, uh, Loki had a response to being hurt with. So uh, he was like, "No, I'm not going to do it." And then Paul's like, "I'll beat you up." He's like, "Okay, I'll do it." So, uh, yeah, uh, apart from morals. Uh, Fire is bad. Apples are good. Uh, I'm gonna say four. Four, yeah. What about the aging stuff? I don't know if there's a moral there. They seem very fickle about the age. Yeah. Um, what, what do you feel, Dan? I think it's a four. Four. Are we, do we agree four? Yeah. 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 Feeling confident. There's some people not happy with that. It's like, no, it's a fucking ten. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Creativity. I think it's quite creative. Yeah. Uh, I liked the, uh, the the fact that giants can turn into birds. Didn't know about that. Didn't know about that. We learned that today. Yeah. We, uh, the fire thing that was quite cool. Like it was cooking, but it wouldn't. Oh, they were trying yeah, to cook, it wouldn't cook, and then that person's like, "Hurry, I've got, got a spell." Yes. Um, uh, I, I like the fact when he like flew up in the air and then like took everyone out. Flight. <laughs> Flight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I also like the fact that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I like the fact that there's it's, like, with the golden apples. Uh, I think the idea of the apples keeping people youthful is really, really interesting yeah, as well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and, we, uh, and that, we don't see that anywhere else. And the fact that uh, the gods can be really old as well, but they choose not to. As well. Yeah. So I think that's the nut was hilarious. Uh, the nut was. Uh, <laughs> or seed. Or seed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. <laughs> oh God, I, 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 I genuinely. After, after, you know, when I'm on stage, I say some stuff I don't, I'm not proud of, but then afterwards, I get, I have deep shame afterwards. And that. Uh, I want you to know, Andy, as Matt's good friend, I know that he will be talking about that every day <laughs> for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll say alpha male. I will represent that. Uh, also, he said that's Matt's friend, Matt's sidekick, actually. So, uh, um, so creativity. I, I, maybe six, but I don't. What about the, and the fire and the? I mean, they did oversee the fact that birds can fly over it. But, yeah. Mm. Uh, but maybe it's just like I'm gonna say six. There's, um, oh, a six. It's not too high, is it? No. I was gonna go five. Right. I was gonna go five. It's pretty bang average. Give me cheer if you want five. Yeah. yeah. Cheer if you think it's higher. Yeah. 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 Lower. Okay. Uh, should we, six, uh, six or five? Six. 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 Five. 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 That's why we're just not learning our mistakes from last episode. <laughs> no. uh, if, uh, like my mum says, if you want to do something wrong, keep on repeating it. So, uh, um, He's not going to say that. <laughs> that. That's why I do this podcast. Uh, but like, uh, with, um, but with, yeah, let's, let's say five. I think majority speaks there. Five. It's a five. And WTF. Some big ones here. Uh, that nut busting. Uh, that's, that's nut busting. That's pretty, <laughs> uh, my Rastafarian accent. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty... Uh, that's really... I think it was pretty messed up. Yep. It, it seemed more messed up because in other myths they really haggle and they, they really try not to do the things... I and mean, in this myth, they, everyone involved was just like, yeah, that's fine. There's, yeah, there's yeah. a deep lack of morals and like thought behind it. It's more like, it's so, it's so it's very accepting of the facts. Like, yeah, I'll just do whatever you want. Like, it's very com- It's like, almost like they know they're going to win anyway, so they're just yeah, like, fine. Yeah. yeah, sure, I'll give this one to you. Uh, I, there's not that much gore. Usually we get a lot of gore. For example, in the last episode, we had a lot of uh, blood and gore at the wedding. But I think maybe... This guy just got burned to death. That's not boring. That's well, actually, that is pretty. Uh, pretty burned, yeah, sorry, so pretty. boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I forgot about that part. Genuinely, <laughs> actually, it was pretty messed up that Idan was just like kidnapped against yeah. her will and, and locked in a castle. It's also, the deal was for the golden apples to go, but uh, Thiazzi's like, "No, I'm going to take her too, motherfucker." Yeah, uh, I never thought about that. Actually, yeah. the whole thing was only other apples. Yeah. Uh, and, and he's like, "Well, since you're here," yeah. She's like, "Oh, what the hell is happening? Oh, now I'm in a castle, great." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, and the fact that uh, the, the moment he turns back to go on a fishing trip, she leaves straight away. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> he's like, I've probably got a spare ten minutes. I can't see anything happening. <laughs> um, Boom, she's a nut. I'm going to say seven for WTF. Uh, do you reckon it's two? Oh, that seems quite high. You I got think it's six. Mm. Yeah. Seven. Eight. Seven. Okay, there is a seven. Who's mm. uh, thinking six? Yeah. Who's thinking seven? Six it is. How about ten? <laughs> no, okay. Yeah. Stop trying to get ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hedge my bets there. So, uh, we are, the total is three plus four plus five plus seven equals nineteen? Yes. I'm very good at maths, I am. <laughs> that's, a lo- that's a low score, actually. Yeah, give it, everyone give it a round of applause <laughs> for doing maths. Basic maths! Woo! maths. Um, uh, we've, we've, we've really grown in the last uh, in the hundred episodes. Like at the start of this, I was so bad at math. Like, genuinely, that would take me about two minutes to kind of add up. There are so many episodes where we give a score and then we like <laughs> ten minutes later we're like, oh no, that's people have emailed. That's not the right number. That is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, and also, like people, um, people have got in touch with us as well. Like uh, they've. Um, like if if uh, people get quite passionate about like the scoring system, because people have emailed in and go like, "What the fuck? An episode thirty-three? That was a three out of ten. It's obviously a seven. And I was like, "Okay, mum." Uh, uh, <laughs> just kidding. My mum doesn't listen. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> what what did my mum want to say uh, to uh, about me to you? So many horrendous things. Yeah, what's one? I can't even remember right now. This is quite awkward. Uh, like, I genuinely can't think of anything funny. This is... uh, uh, your brother is my favourite child. Oh, she did once tell me off, off podcast that um, Matt isn't her favourite child. <laughs> <laughs> and on podcast. Yeah. Well, yeah. Very, very awkward. Uh, uh, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so... Uh, stop it. <laughs> what, 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 uh, they don't, don't, I can't believe it. Like, why are you so interested in nuts? Because you were talking. But, but why not? They were talking about nuts and seeds. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's, that's is it cool. cucumber seed? We don't know. No, we don't know. Just... <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> is it Andy? <laughs> uh, Andy, <laughs> Andy is the horticultural expert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, let's wrap this up. But, uh, thank you so much for coming to see us tonight. Uh, have you all had a nice time? Yeah. 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 Uh, I hope you go and check out the back catalogue as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and let's so many offensive accents there to look at. Uh, uh, no, there's not. Uh, yeah, yeah. But um, we edited them out. So, uh, but we've, um, yeah, we, want, we just want to say thank you so much for checking us out and to making our uh, hundred and hundred first episode really special. So give yourselves a round of applause as well. <laughs> We don't know what day it comes. Just before, uh, just whilst I'm on the roll, uh, we want to say a massive thank you to this venue for putting us up. They did it yeah. last minute, right? Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, so let's give them a massive round. Let's go. Woo! Not only are they, uh, the people who run this place are not only the nicest place, uh, people in the world, but they uh, do amazing food. So if you do live in York, do check out True Story Cafe. Uh, uh, but beyond that, um, uh, what, do you have any more admin or should we wrap up with social media? No, thanks for coming, guys. Have uh, a good time. Uh, follow us at Miss Podcast uh, on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, you can join our fan group called The Misfits. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to be a misfit, you're, you're one of us. Uh, so uh, and we'll put a poll up: Is Brazil not a seed? Or uh, like a, and, uh, and that new poll? Like, no. I can't wait to go home and Google that it's actually is a nut. <laughs> Should we Google? Right, <laughs> uh, Dad. Do you want to Google it on here? And, uh, and then we'll. Uh, actually, that's not quite climactic end to the podcast, is it? Uh, uh, I thought it would be funny. No, uh, 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 we'll check it. Yeah, nothing, nothing sounds better than a guy Googling something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like in Head of Garble, any, like, the, uh, or any Shakespeare, that like, big crescendo at the end, like, whoa! Like, are you Googling it now? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you go and Google it. We'll, we'll wrap up here. So, like, uh, 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 so, yeah, we're quite busy, actually. So, uh, uh, we've, uh, yeah, so follow us online. Uh, give us a follow- yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just give me five minutes. Uh, is, is it a seed? You're taking the piss out of me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm I know, I know the answer. <laughs> okay, how about that? Uh, uh, so uh, we'll just finish you're with You're right, the... you're right. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> it's a seed! It's a seed! It's... Oh, you're joining me. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. Uh, uh, but Andy, we can still be friends, right? It's now my favourite scene. Yeah! yeah. What, yeah. more than mine? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You guys are weird as fuck. <laughs> That's a good way to end it. Yeah. Uh, thank you for making this special. Uh, give us five stars on iTunes. I've been Matt Hoss. I've been Dan Rhodes. And we've been Miss. Thank you. Chanting like myths, myths, just for the end of the podcast? No? Okay. <laughs>